Welcome back to another Saturday with Sam and uh, today we're going to talk about cycles and as you can probably see I've got frost and coldness on the ground and I'm wearing I'm even wearing my uh, my little my little snow hat here because it is cold outside in Washington today and uh, today we're going to talk about cycles so uh, grab your cup of coffee and uh, warm up a little bit. Cycles is an interesting topic. Um, you know, the Bible says that in Ecclesiastes that there's a time for everything under heaven. There's a time for harvest and a time for planting and sowing and reaping and all these different things that we, we do in life, you know. It's time for getting the mail, as you can see, you know. Um, and there's a there's a time for everything under, under heaven is what the Bible says. And um, it's interesting. I'm, I'm struck this time of year. Thanksgiving was uh, last week, and and today is uh, it's very chilly and, and calm and cold, and uh, there's you know leaves falling off of trees, and and it's a season of change right now. You know we're going from the nice green lush life to a diminished lifestyle um, with the plants and. And um, you know the thing about cycles is that they just go season in, season out. Uh, there's a, I mean, humans know this well. We 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 are born, we live, and we die. If we're lucky, we leave a, a truly lasting legacy, and that's a great thing. You know, um, life is so fragile, it's so short. The cycle for some of us is very, very short. Um, the cycle for some of us is very, very long. I just found out that um, one of my great aunts, so not my aunt, but my uh, my mom's aunt, uh, just passed away at 92 years old, and she had a very long life, but her cycle of life is complete, and now she's in heaven with Jesus. Um, and and while she will deal with the things that we have to deal with as humans in a fallen world, um, one thing that she will not have to deal with anymore is this kind of cold weather but uh, it's really a big deal to leave a legacy an impact in the world around you and I, I want to challenge you today a little bit with the concept of leaving an impact now criminals leave a negative impact and we know that's not good and um, Adam and Eve left an impact on us by giving us mortality but um, humanity well, we as humans, because our lives are so temporal and so short, everything in life is in and out and up and down. We really have to be deliberate about what we do. That's why I work out. I want to be in shape. I want to be fit for my kids so that while they are experiencing the early part of their cycles of life, that uh, they can have the best part of me, that they can have better than what my wife got when we were dating and better than what I gave myself. You know, some of you out there, some of you think that uh, the health is is just, you know, I, I do what I want, whatever I want, and whether it affects me or not, it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. You're affecting yourself. You're not giving yourself much of a legacy. You're not giving yourself much of a life. Um, now, you don't have to spend every waking moment dieting and exercising. You can work out and find a balance there and lose some weight and be healthy. You don't have to spend six hours in the gym, a half hour a day, you know? five to six days a week that's all you need and the cycle I mean the cycle that you need to be working on is getting fit getting into shape making sure that you are leaving a lasting impact whether you are out feeding the homeless or you make donations to a sponsored child in, in a foreign country or whether you are into adoption or whether you feed the hungry at a local homeless shelter or whether you help out at a food bank those are the kinds of things that make a lasting impact in our lives and in the world. You know, that's a legacy that you can be proud of, a cycle that you can be proud of. Um, so today, I want to challenge you with that thought. If you're not doing something to help out those less fortunate or even help yourself out by working out, do something. Do something now. I mean, take take a moment to go out and and you see somebody on the side of the road that needs a blanket, go buy a blanket and bring it back to them. Um, it, it's pretty simple stuff. It's not hard at all. All it takes is a little bit of time and a little bit of extra money. And, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, you can find some way to help. So uh, this public service announcement, which I totally didn't mean for it to be today, 
Uh, it was brought to you by winter. It's coming. It's coming. So prepare yourselves.